In an era of escalating geopolitical tensions and rapid technological advancement, Australia's electronic warfare capability has emerged as a critical pillar of its defense strategy. Positioned in the Indo-Pacific, a region marked by strategic competition, particularly with China, Australia faces a complex threat landscape characterized by advanced missile systems, drone proliferation, and cyber-enabled warfare. Electronic warfare, which leverages the electromagnetic spectrum to disrupt, deceive, or deny adversary systems while safeguarding friendly forces, is central to the Australian Defence Force's ability to deter aggression and project power. The 2023 Defence Strategic Review underscores EW's role in a strategy of denial, emphasizing integrated, long-range, and technologically sophisticated capabilities to counter adversaries in contested environments. Electronic warfare encompasses three core functions. Electronic attack, which disrupts or destroys enemy systems through jamming or electromagnetic pulses. Electronic protection, which shields friendly systems from adversary EW and electronic support, which gathers intelligence through signals analysis. Historically, Australia has invested in EW through platforms like the EA-18G Growler aircraft and naval countermeasure systems, but recent global conflicts, such as the Ukraine-Russia war, have highlighted EW's critical role in countering drones, missiles, and networked systems. The ADF's EW strategy is shaped by the need to address China's anti-access area denial capabilities, including advanced radars and missile systems, while enhancing interoperability with allies through frameworks like AUKUS. As adversaries increasingly exploit the electromagnetic spectrum, Australia's EW advancements reflect a proactive response to maintain a strategic edge in a volatile region. Recent developments in Australia's EW capability demonstrate a commitment to modernization and innovation. The Royal Australian Air Force's 11 EA-18G Growler aircraft, equipped with ALQ-99 jamming pods and AGM-88 Harm missiles, remain a cornerstone of airborne electronic attack. Recent upgrades focus on integrating next-generation jamming pods and enhancing interoperability with US and allied systems enabling the Growlers to suppress enemy air defences in contested environments. The Royal Australian Navy has bolstered its EW suites on Hobart-class destroyers and Anzac-class frigates, incorporating CFR radars and electronic countermeasures to counter anti and enhance maritime situational awareness. On the ground, the Australian Army is developing mobile EW units under projects like Land 555, deploying vehicle-mounted jammers and SIGINT systems to support land operations. Innovative technologies are also advancing Australia's EW edge. BAE Systems Australia's Glide Guidance Kit transforms artillery rounds into air-launched precision-guided munitions with EW capabilities while Defentex's multi-pulse EW warhead showcased at Army Innovation Day 2023 targets drone swarms and missile threats with electromagnetic disruption. Drone Shield, an Australian company, has gained prominence with its Drone Sentry system, which uses RF detection and jamming to neutralize rogue drones, reflecting Australia's leadership in counter-unmanned aerial systems. The AUKUS partnership has accelerated EW innovation with Pillar 2 fostering collaboration with the US and UK on AI-driven signal processing and resilient communications. Joint exercises like Project Convergence 2024 have tested EW integration with autonomous systems and networked warfare, showcasing Australia's ability to counter drone swarms and enhance coalition operations. The convergence of EW and cyber warfare is another significant development with the ADF Cyber Command enabling coordinated attacks on enemy networks by combining electromagnetic and cyber disruptions. The Defense Science and Technology Group is driving research into quantum sensing, AI for signal analysis, and low observable technologies, while partnerships with industry leaders like Raytheon and Northrop Grumman provide access to cutting-edge systems such as the ANLQ-249 Next Generation Jammer. These advancements position Australia at the forefront of EW, aligning with the DSR's call for rapid capability development to address evolving threats. 
Australia's EW capabilities are actively deployed across operational and training environments, demonstrating their readiness and versatility. The EA-18G Growlers have been a mainstay in multinational exercises like Pitch Black and Talisman Sabre, where they simulate contested environments, jamming enemy radars, and supporting coalition operations. These aircraft are critical for potential Indo-Pacific operations, particularly in maritime domains where they counter Chinese electronic surveillance and missile threats. RAN vessels, equipped with advanced EW systems, regularly patrol the South China Sea, participating in freedom of navigation operations to deter aggression. Ground-based EW units have supported domestic operations, such as securing communications during bushfire responses, and are being prepared for expeditionary roles in regional conflicts. Exercises like Talisman Sabre 2023 and Project Convergence 2024 have showcased EW's integration with autonomous platforms and counter-drone systems, while Army Innovation Day 2023 demonstrated urban and littoral applications of jammers and SIGINT platforms. Australia's EW expertise is also shared with regional partners like Japan, South Korea, and India through joint exercises, fostering collective deterrence against shared threats. The role and purpose of Australia's EW capability are multifaceted, aligning with strategic and operational imperatives. At its core, EW supports the DSR's strategy of denial by disrupting adversary sensors, communications, and weapons systems, making it harder for enemies to operate in Australia's approaches. It serves as a force multiplier, enhancing the effectiveness of other ADF capabilities, such as long-range missiles like HIMARS, Tomahawk, and air platforms like F-35A by degrading enemy defenses. ES functions provide critical SIGINT in forming strategic and tactical decision-making. EW is vital for countering China's A2AD strategies, protecting critical infrastructure like military bases and communication networks, and supporting allies in coalitions like AUKUS and the Quad. Emerging roles include counter-drone operations with systems like Drone Sentry, addressing the growing threat of unmanned systems and cyber-EW integration, which disrupts enemy command and control networks holistically. By enabling denial, deterrence, and intelligence superiority, EW strengthens Australia's ability to shape the battle space and maintain regional influence. The implications of Australia's EW advancements are profound for both the nation and the Indo-Pacific region. For Australia, robust EW capabilities enhance deterrence by denying adversaries freedom of action in the electromagnetic spectrum, countering China's growing military presence. They ensure operational resilience, with systems like Growlers and Naval ECM reducing vulnerability to missile salvos and electronic attacks. Economically, EW investments drive growth in Australia's defense industry, with companies like Drone Shield and BAE Systems Australia creating jobs and fostering innovation. However, scaling these capabilities requires addressing workforce shortages through training and university partnerships. Regionally, Australia's EW leadership strengthens alliances, particularly with the US, UK, Japan, and South Korea, enhancing collective defense against threats like North Korean missiles or Chinese maritime aggression. By countering A2AD strategies, Australia contributes to a free and open Indo-Pacific, supporting regional stability. Yet, the deployment of advanced EW systems risks escalating tensions with adversaries, necessitating diplomatic efforts to balance deterrence with de-escalation. Australia's CUAS technologies and AI-driven EW systems may spur regional partners to invest similarly, potentially leading to an EW arms race. The convergence of EW and cyber warfare sets a precedent for modern conflict, while ethical challenges, such as AI autonomy, demand robust human oversight and international norms.